everyone, welcome back to the vlog. We're doing a Napa Valley vlog. Me and Caesar just filled up our car and we are heading first to get food, stop for food, and then we're gonna drive to Napa. took a mini mini little nap it's actually an apartment complex but it's like you know our own little apartment so we walked in through there and then it's straight up like the living room we put our bags right there um the rug is a little blue rug and then there's a little desk right here i like this balcony area <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> caesar was right there um I don't want to go outside right now though because it's kind of cold <laughs> um but it looks like that and then there's a tv and over here we have the kitchen caesar's gonna show us the kitchen am i really <laughs> i'm just opening the fridge we have a fridge Some ice in there. it reminds me a little bit of our kitchen since it has the counter and stuff yeah. And then this is the little kitchen. And then the room is right here. And I wanna show you guys this. What would Beyonce do? This is our very first time ever, right? You've never been here or you have? No, no. No, neither of us have been here before, ever. Like, I've never been to Napa at all. I think we're also gonna find some dinner spots for tonight. We'll keep you updated. Some that might be. Interesting. We um, found this bridge. It's reflecting the little lights, which I think is really cute. But we're in the downtown area. Um, uh, we're in downtown, right? Wait, so is that Batman? No, it's. <laughs> I'm Batman. What? Um, what? We're in downtown Napa, I think. I'm not even focused. Okay, we're in downtown Napa. We're walking around. We might walk over here. It looks really pretty. There's some Christmas lights on. Drink. Hopefully you can hear me. I don't know. I think it's. <laughs> I don't know. You like it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I got. Oh, it's on. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try my martini. She 
Seth, it's really good. Can I taste it? Yeah. Taste the orange. Is it blood orange? Yeah, it's blood orange martini. Oh. You like I it? I don't like blood orange. Oh, you don't like it? <laughs> Why? Because it's citrusy? It's not the citrus. I love lemonade. But then, it's like the aftertaste. I got my ravioli, I think it's called. No, not ravioli. Pasta. Something pasta. <laughs> and Cesar got some tuna special, I think. And we're gonna dig in. Good morning, you guys. It is kind of a gloomy and <laughs> sad day right now. Hey, uh. Gloomy AF. Actually, it's kind of cold. We didn't come prepared. I think he came more prepared for the weather than I did. Right now, we're heading to get some brunch. It is actually 10:59, um, and we had to be out of the place by 11. So we're out, and we're gonna go get some brunch, um, and then we're gonna drive over to Napa and explore. And yeah, hopefully it doesn't rain. <laughs> It's like actually fall here <laughs> But we're walking to um, the place that we're gonna have brunch at We are at the cutest cafe called Sunflower Cafe I got my lavender latte and Caesar got his yes. orange, juice. orange juice This is my avocado toast or waffle that we're sharing It's like an oat waffle And Caesar's eggs benedict We are at a little like store next door to Rumor and I found this headband. It's so cute. I actually used to have one when I was little. I was telling Caesar about it. This one though, <laughs> this one though is from Guatemala, but the one that I had was from Peru. This is what it looks like. I kind of want it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. cute. There's a lot of these in Peru. You know what? Hold up. I'm getting <laughs> it. Hold up. If my nieces see this, watch. Oh, yeah. Father finger, father finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? <laughs> yeah, that's on repeat. <laughs> I found a lot of things from like Peru, for example, these alpacas right here. They're so cute. They are super small. And then they have bigger ones and stuff. Super soft. They have a lot. So many, but they're so cute. And in Peru, these are made in Peru too. What's this? They're little um, ornaments for Christmas. Sheep. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, they're ornaments. See? What's up with that? So cute. <laughs> Yay. So cute. I think this is made from like Nepal, but it's what so pretty. I think it's a table thing, like a table. I don't know what they're called, but like a team. These are like coasters, Man. like colorful coasters. Oh, those coasters. are small, yeah. But this one's a long one right here. I just want to show you. It's literally fall. Oh my god, it's so freaking beautiful. It looks so colorful. <gasps> this makes me so happy. Ooh. I wish I wish our, our hometown was like this. Mm, that's true. <gasps> I get it. So I almost I almost said winter wonderland, but this is not a wonderland. Yeah. This is a fall wonderland. Am I allowed to call it that? <gasps> Look at this one. It's so pretty. We just got back to downtown Napa. Um, Caesar actually got us some tickets to go on the gondola. So we're gonna go on that in an hour. So we're gonna walk around for now.
We got some ramen to end the night. So we're gonna dig in before we head back. Caesar's staring at something. <laughs> Watching the game. Oh, and the reflection of the mirror. <laughs> we just made it home. Finally, it is like, I think it's almost 10 right now actually. Um, and I am wearing my little tie-dye set. On our way back, I actually had a, I don't want to use the wrong like term, um, but I believe it was an anxiety attack. I'm feeling like a lot better right now, obviously, which is why I'm here like sharing with you guys about it. But um, I've had this happen before, um, but I didn't start getting like anxiety until I really really like went to college and that's kind of where it actually started but I did feel anxious today throughout the day and I've been feeling anxious like the last couple of days but I think today I was anxious and I don't know just being in the car somehow I felt like my heart started beating really fast and I was not like I I kind of had this like fight or flight situation go on um, I felt kind of like uneasy not okay and it got to the point where obviously I told Caesar because like, we were listening to a podcast and I told him like and he stopped the podcast um, and I was I like was trying to calm down and kind of like remind myself where I am what I'm doing that I'm safe and stuff like that but like it was working but then all of a sudden it kind of sped up with me way faster than I even like even came to like think about like where I am I am safe like all this stuff so it sped up so fast I actually started passing out and so Caesar like literally like tried to get out of the freeway as soon as possible i was so lightheaded he got water on me and then or lemonade <laughs> cold lemonade on me and then um he also grabbed our hand sanitizer alcohol this smells so strong and he held it up against my nose i am feeling a little bit better now it was a lot it took like a lot of emotional like i don't know i had a lot of emotion from me and I just feel so tired, I feel so exhausted. Um, I feel like my mind was going at like 120 miles per hour and I literally felt myself like passing out and I, it was so hard to catch my breath. I'm still trying to kind of know how to like understand and how to cope with having anxiety or how to prevent myself from having panic attacks or anxiety attacks um because they're they're really terrifying like it's literally like your body is in like a state of shock or like a, a state of fight or flight i just wanted to share with you guys in case this kind of relates to any of you or you've been through this recently or you've been through it in the past or um either and yeah, if you deal with anxiety, I'm actually curious about what kind of helps you um, ease your anxiety or how do you cope with your anxiety. Um, yeah, just like what helps you. I would really appreciate it because I think that's something that we can share with each other in the comments and kind of like help each other because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there that can relate to literally what I just said. I just want to say thank you so much for it listening for watching for liking my videos for being subscribed to my channel i will talk to you in my next video so i will see you guys very soon